Well, I get the feeling most of you always knew what you wanted to do. Me? I didn't. I was just a kid for a while. And then one day, well, my father had this fabulous library in the back of the house. And when I was oh, about 11, I guess, I found this medical textbook. And it had pictures of the male and female anatomy in it. I guess I found that pretty interesting. I used to read that book a lot. Then from that book, I diagnosed my own appendicitis. Next day, I went to my doctor down the block. Sure enough, acute appendicitis. They rushed me right to the hospital. Well, I figured this book would cover everything the rest of my life. And when I was 13, I had my first wet dream. So I went straight to the book. Milky discharge, milky discharge, milky discharge. Gonorrhea? Well, I was in shock. I mean, gonorrhea? Well, before I'd even started, I was terrified. I couldn't tell my mother I had gonorrhea, so the book said to drink a lot of water. No, it said take penicillin and strepto something or other, but I couldn't do anything about that unless I told somebody. So all I could do was drink the water, and I drank like 20 glasses a day for three weeks. I almost drowned. And finally I went to the confession and told the priest that I had gonorrhea. And he was in shock too. Who have you been with, my son? Nobody. Nobody. Then how can you have gonorrhea? Well, I told the priest about the book's diagnosis for milky discharge, and he set me straight. And that's the only time the church has ever helped me out.